This occurring challenge is called inserting a node into a sorted doubly linked list. The instructions say, giving a reference to the head of a doubly linked list and an integer creates a new node object having the data value and insert it into a sorted linked list while maintaining the sort. So we're going to solve this challenge in C++ and also in C language. Before we proceed, let me remind you that a doubly linked list node has two pointers. In the previous videos, we were dealing with singly linked lists. So our nodes only had the next pointer pointing to the next node in the list. But in doubly linked list, we have two pointers. So one for the next node, but also one for the previous nodes. And of course, we have this int member variable called data. So this is going to contain the number which we need to use to find where we need to insert these nodes inside our doubly linked lists. So this is the function. It takes in two parameters. The first one is a node pointer, which is the head of a linked list. And the second one is the data. So we need to use that data to create our node objects and then insert that node inside our doubly linked list. So remember that for this challenge, when we are done, we need to return the heads because this function is supposed to return a node pointer. And that node pointer has to be the head of our list. But it's possible that the head that we receive as a parameter is going to be null, meaning that the list is empty. That's why we need to verify here. If the head is null, then we simply return that head, which is already of node pointer type, and we can terminate this function. Otherwise, we can proceed, create a node like this. So we are passing our data parameter to the constructor, and this is going to return us a node pointer. So we are going to create this node object here. And then here we need to verify if we need to insert that node at the very beginning of our list. In other words, we need to insert it before the head. So here I'm checking if the data inside my head node is greater than or equal to the data inside my new node, which is this data here as a parameter, then I need to insert my node before the head. This here is an example. Let's say we have this linked list. I have a head node here. And the data here is the integer two. So that list has other nodes. That's why I have these dots here, but we're only worrying here about the head nodes. So at the beginning, the previous pointer of our head node is going to be null. But let's say that we create a new node containing the integer one right here. Because I want to insert my node before the head, I'm assigning the previous pointer of my head node to the node that I've just created. And then I'm setting the next pointer of my node to the head. So this is going to move my node before the head node. Now, remember that when we created that node here, by default, our node's pointers were set to null. So the previous pointer of that node is already null. If you're wondering why, you just have to scroll up here, toggle this section. Inside this constructor, by default, the nodes are set to null PTR. So we don't have to do something like this here, node.prev equals null PTR or anything like that, because by default, it's already set to null PTR. Remember that at the beginning of this challenge, I said we were supposed to return the heads, but here we return the nodes. And the reason for that is that that node is now going to be the new head of our linked list because we just inserted it before the head. So now the head is going to be the second node inside our list and our new node is going to be the new head. If that's not the case, let's say we need to insert our new nodes after our head nodes, then we need to do things a little bit differently. So we'll go here, create a temp pointer, which is going to point to the heads. That's why the data type is a node pointer. And then we're going to use that stamp node to traverse our doubly linked list. So I'm going to say here, if temp is not equal to null, so at the first iteration, it's not, we are going to enter this while loop, and then we are going to start our iteration. So we need to compare if the data from our temp pointer is greater than or equal to the data from our new node. Now that is very similar to what we did at the top just that at the top, we're comparing directly with our head nodes. If the data inside our temp node is greater than our new node's data, then we need to insert it right before it. But that means that our new node is going to be in between two existing nodes. So you guys can pause the video and look at this code right here, but I'm going to show you an illustration. Let's say that this is our existing doubly linked list. We have one node with the data one and another node with the data three. Ignore the null pointers and everything for now. Now imagine that we created a new node containing the integer two. So this is what I'm highlighting here. That new node would need to be between this node and that one right here. And therefore this connection will need to look like this. Now the next pointer from our first node is pointing to our new node. And the previous pointer from our new node is pointing to this first node here. Likewise, the next pointer from our new node is pointing to this node right here. And the previous pointer from that node is pointing 
to this node. So that logic is what you see right here. Now, once we're done doing that, we can break out of this loop and simply return the heads. Otherwise, if we had to traverse our doubly linked list all the way to the end and add our new node after the tail, then we will simply perform these two operations. At that point, temp would be equal to the tail. So we would say the next pointer of our tail should point to our new node here. And the previous pointer of our new node should point to temp, which is the tail. And that's pretty much it. When we are done, we simply return the heads and this function will finish executing. So if I run this code now, we pass all the three sample test cases. I'm just going to submit it. This is C++, and then I'm going to show you the code for C language. So here, everything was successful. Now let's go up here, select C. So in C, the code is very much the same. We are also verifying if the head is null. And we are also using the malloc function instead of the new keyword. You've seen me use malloc many times before in my previous videos. So if you don't know how it works, simply go back to my data structures playlist and look at how you can also implement it just like I did. Now, because the nodes here are structs instead of classes, I'm setting the data to the integer that I've received here as a parameter. So I'm saying nodes.data equals this value here for my parameter. For the rest, it's very much the same. I am comparing with the head nodes, I'm checking if I need to insert my new nodes before the head. Otherwise, I go ahead and traverse my linked lists. I verify if I need to insert my new nodes in between two existing nodes, or if I need to add it after the tail. And this line here is to advance my node pointer because I want to traverse my lists. When I'm done with all the processing, I simply return the head. So again, you guys can pause this video, copy my code. I'm just going to submit it and we've passed all the test cases again. If you guys liked my solution for this video, please subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.